How you doing tonight? Yeah, I know you guys can tell I'm African, right? I came from Africa for this show tonight. You African too? Let's talk about you African. You more like South Africa? Not African. Nigeria? I don't believe nothing come out of over there. You not no African. You must be the African in America. I'm the African from Africa. Jason told me the show was going to be at the Toyota Center. And shit don't look like a Toyota Center to me. <laughs> That's more like the Honda Accord Center. You know? <laughs> he lied to me because he's thinking I'm African. He's just going to lie to me and beat me over here. And then I came here and I'm like, this nigga, you just, just told me it was, you know. They gotta do all that. I went and brought my outfit. This outfit right here. Shit, this outfit is a chilaga outfit. I had to kill a whole chiller. A lion and a tiger for this outfit. That's why I call it a chilaga outfit. Chilaga, goddammit. But I love it here in America. America is different from Africa. You guys use too many slangs in America and it throws me off as an African. You know, because in Africa, we don't use slangs, you know, we just go straight to the point. If he asks me as an African, hey, give me $10,000, we just go, no. No. With emphasis, eyes wide open, no. But when I came to America, Americans say everything different. I asked my American friend for a ride. I said, hey, Jamal, could you please give me a ride downtown? Jamal looked at me and said, shh. <laughs> so I didn't know what she <laughs> meant. I'm sitting over there waiting on my ride the whole time, right? <laughs> Ten minutes go by. I said, hey, Jamal, I got to go, man. You going to give me the ride or what? Jamal turned around, looked at me again, and said, shh. <laughs> And then he walked off. Jamal walked off. I'm like, okay, that's how Americans say no. This is shit. I say, okay, I get it. I get it. So one day I was driving. I was going 60 miles on the 40, you know, just driving, minding my business. Police officer pulled me over. He said, man, you crazy. Get out the car, man. You know what you're doing? I got out the car, looked at him and said, shit. <laughs> And then I drove off. He said, hey, hey, this man. <laughs> Everything is different in America. You guys are used to many slangs. It throws me off. Like when it's cold, they say, man, it is colder than a motherfucker. <laughs> when it's hot, they say, man, it is hotter than a motherfucker. <laughs> man, I'm broke like a motherfucker. <laughs> Man, I'm tired, the motherfucker. Man, look at that little like that man. She finer than the motherfucker. Man, I can't write that man nicer than the motherfucker. I came to America. I said, man, who is this motherfucker? I used to look for motherfuckers. When I went to church one time, I asked my pastor. I said, pastor, I've been looking for this guy. His name is motherfucker. Have you seen him, Pastor? Kick me at the church. I said, I said, who is this motherfucker? So one time I was having a conversation with this dude. I'm talking with him. He asked me how tall I was. So I told him I'm 6'4. He said, Man, you are taller than a motherfucker. I said, Man, who is this motherfucker? We kept talking about basketball, you know, we just talking about LeBron and everything. He told me, he said, hey man, I play basketball as well. Matter of fact, I was out there playing basketball game with them boys yesterday, man. I was dunking on them like a motherfucker. <laughs> so when he said he was dunking on them like a motherfucker, so I put two and two together. I figured, oh shit, motherfucker is tall. And that motherfucker is dunking the ball. So I figured, motherfucker had to be a basketball player. I said, motherfucker, gotta be a basketball player. So one time I went to a school basketball game one day, right? So everybody on the team was about 5'8 and 5'9. And I said, the no, only one guy on the team was about 6'4. He was the only 6'4 guy on the team. So I figured there had to be a motherfucker right there. 
Man, I was seeing sideline, man, yelling at the guy. He was in the game. I said, hey, motherfucker, pass the ball. He looked at me. I said, yeah, you, motherfucker, shoot that shit. Every time he touched the ball, I said, motherfucker, do something with that shit. <laughs> So after the game, I walked up to him. I said, hey, man, I'm uh, not finally meet you, motherfucker. Oh. I said, man, by the way, you had a good game, motherfucker. <laughs> so the guy looked at me for about 10 seconds. He said, man, you are crazier than a motherfucker. And then he walked off. <laughs> I said, damn, I thought you was a motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all having fun so far? Yeah. Y'all give it up for your host tonight. Give it up for your host. <laughs> Oh, you over there? Hey, man, I'm fucked up, and now my grill, they get me over there tonight. I don't know what they, what they put in that shit. I was good till I got here, but they gave me that shit. I said, shit, I start tripping. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he, go, he gonna talk about, I hope he's funny. I said, shh. No, for real, like, when, I, when he was like, oh, our next comedian, I hope he's funny. I was like, shh. I said, this nigga, I said, this nigga don't know me. I'm the motherfucker. I'm the, I'm the real motherfucker. Like, every time I see, like, African-American, somebody, we African-Americans, I said, nah, nigga. I'm the real African-American. <laughs> Anybody here from Houston? Woo! From Houston? Okay, yeah. okay. That's all? You know, you're from Houston too. Hitchcock. Hitchcock, he's from Hitchcock. Yeah. I know, we in Hitchcock. Hitchcock, Houston is too far, isn't it? No. It took us two days to get here. <laughs> <laughs> this is how far it is, like when you put the GPS and that should take about 30 minutes to find us shit. You know, where you're going is too far. I'm gonna tell you a little story when I came from uh, uh, Nigeria to Houston, uh, because like you know, I grew up in a village in Nigeria. We didn't have like roads like you guys have here, huh? I'm Igbo. Yes. Are you Yoruba? Somebody just told you that shit. <laughs> you a lot of friends. All right. You guys eat the fufu now? You don't like the fufu no more still, huh? It's good. All right, because I remember when I came to America in 2001, they used to call me the African booty scratcher. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, them niggas were from Wakanda. You hear that shit? <laughs> niggas were like, I'm from Wakanda. Niggas, shut the fuck up. Wakanda ain't no real place. Talk about I'm from Wakanda. Nigga, now you from the Southwest, motherfucker. <laughs> you from the North Side, nigga. <laughs> so, we're like, you know, I grew up in a village. I'm a village guy. So back then we didn't have like the roads like they have here in America, you know, it's, it's, you know, we just have one road, you know. So if you're going that way and you're coming this way, we're in the same lane. You text, you drive, you're dead, you know. That type of shit. So when I came to America, I got my car for the first time, right? So I was on 288 freeway. You know 288? It's a circle of freeway that we don't know where we're going. I got on 288 freeway going 125 miles per hour, right? Why would you do that? Why? Because I thought 288 was the speed limit. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought that shit was the speed limit. <laughs> I almost died on that shit. I was wondering. Why is everybody going so slow on this shit, man? I'm going like I stole something. Back then, they had police officers always right there. Remember, these are police officers always on 288. On feet, they were just waiting on your ass, right? Police officer pulled me over. He said, man, you crazy. Man, you going 125 miles on a 60. I said, officer, that shit says 288. I'm just managing at 125. I was going faster than the motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, can I do my joke in this 
shit. Hey man, I'm supposed to make y'all laugh. You guys are not supposed to make me laugh. You know this shit. This is my job. It's not your job, okay? <laughs> Wait, where you work at, man? What you do? You a poet? Shit, nigga. What else you do? I'm fired. You a buyer? Yeah. Exactly. I knew that shit. I think I said some shit around here. Okay. When you when, after this, I'm gonna get two. Uh, I'm gonna get two grams out of you. All right. You know. <laughs> Give me two grams. Not that shit. <laughs> Officer asked me where I came from. So I told him I just came from Nigeria. He said, "Hey man, you know next through is six ten, right?" <laughs> Six ten. <laughs> I said, officer, that gonna be for airplanes or something. <laughs> What's up, man? What'd you do? Uh, pressure washer. Pressure washer? Look like a wrestler. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't fight none. Let me tell you something. I'm African. I know who not to fight. You hear me? <laughs> He's not one motherfucker. I'm not gonna fight around this motherfucker. I'll, I'll fight with my word. I know. <laughs> and then now. You know, because people do dumb shit around. You know, people, no, you have never that come borrow some shit around, you know? Yeah. I had a never come borrow everything. Yeah. Nigga, come borrow some salt. Yeah. Salt and some seasoning. Okay, I understand. You probably ran out. I gave him some salt and seasoning. This nigga came back the next day. He wanna borrow my car keys. Yeah. Oh, bro, I think, I think you go, that's a little too far, you know? <laughs> I said, you want to borrow my car? He said, nah, not the car, just the keys. <laughs> he came back the next day trying to borrow my wife. I said, shh. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, that's my time. That's my time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, all I need y'all to do, get a copy of this she shirt. <laughs> and here's the motherfucker shirt. They are $20 a piece, two for 40. Uh, 3460. I mean, that's just what it is. Ain't no discount to this motherfucker. You hear me? Because gas is $35 a gallon. Thank you so much. You have a great night. Give it up for your host. Thank you.